Uh, my name is Aaron Robinson Swink. I'm an independent game developer. I have a small company called Ivy Games. Uh, we're located in Phoenix, Arizona, in the United States. Uh, we made a game called Gravity Ghost, which is out on Steam, coming to the PS4 pretty soon. I guess one of the advantages of being a female developer is that everybody is rooting for you to succeed. You know, lots of people come and encourage me and say all wonderful things about it's, it's good to see. And I say, it's good to see you here. I'm glad you're making things. So that's all very nice to hear. Um, you know, I just do my best. I'm not really sure what it's, the disadvantages are because I don't have a you know a frame of reference. I don't know what's different. I'm not a dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do have a suggestion. It's um, try to work together for a month and see if it works out. You know, pick a small thing to collaborate on first before you commit to being a business partner with somebody and just see if you get along. See if you communicate the same way. You know, I. Generally, when I work with Mike, I just tell him, like, here's what I think would be cool. Um, how long do you think this would take you? And then he gives me an estimate, and we can work from there. I'm a designer, and he's a programmer, and that, like, you know, he doesn't really give feedback on the design because that's not what he's interested in. It's very good to have that sort of division. If you're on a small team and you have two people trying to do design, or three people, it just creates conflict, you know. You need to have somebody who's going to take ownership and kind of drive the thing. So. You know, it's good to pursue your dreams of game development, game development, but um, make sure that you are practical about, you know, how much it's going to cost and how much time it's going to take. You know, there are things you can do to try to like keep your costs down. And we did even when we didn't have a deadline for the game was like try to make a cool build for an event so you can go to the event and show the game to people. And that's a good way to have a, a deadline that's a real deadline and not like an artificial deadline. Yeah, they'll make it real exactly.